All right. All right, y'all. So I'll re recap recap this for you. Obviously not on not on Lake Gunnersville, but so after day one, I was sitting in sixth place, and I had 88. 80, 89 and three quarter inches some somewhere right right just shy of 90 inches and I'd had a good morning I've caught you know I had a good morning I had a lot of bites I, I didn't actually catch a lot of fish that was, that was the issue I was having in the morning I, I ended up over the day I had 12 bites that I lost and I ended up catching I think eight eight fish throughout the day so all in 20, 20 bites on the day landed eight of them and that's it's a, it's a little bit rougher than, than what I was hoping for because you know you're flipping that you know you're I was punching thick grass I'm flipping a heavy heavy jig I'm not gonna get a great hook set to begin with but I was still expecting a better hookup from that so I mean I was going along get, getting a bite about every 20 minutes for the first couple hours and then just losing them left and right I was super super just bummed dejected stressed like I can't believe I'm getting all these bites and I'm still losing all these fish and it really, really, really shot me down. But I knew by the end of the day, I started I started on my grass patch, had a bunch of bites, and then by the end of the day, I'd ended up at the very end of the grass patch, and I landed a handful of fish in quick succession. Just, I don't wanna say three three fish within about 10, 15 minutes. And that, that really, really like turned my day around. Got got me my limit and got got me, you know, in, in the upper 80s where, where I felt pretty comfortable. And I knew that going into day two, I was gonna have to change some things. I couldn't. I couldn't go out there and lose 12 fish and still have a chance to win it. So I, I had some issues with the braid that I was using. So braid and the punch, the punch rig itself. So I was using the aluminum punch skirts, like like I said, I wanted to use, and it turns out those were fraying the line. So the the braid that I was using was not holding up to the aluminum punch skirt sliding up and down just a little bit and it was actually ended, ending up cutting the line now it's it's not a punch skirt issue that was that braid issue that braid is very uh not call them out but it's a very uh high quality braid known for punching and frogging but it's not very good for abrasion resistance and just that slight knocking of the punch skirt ended up breaking off twice actually it may have been three times throughout the day and just you know losing losing the fish losing the rig the weight everything and just and and set me back so i ran to the tackle shop i bought all new braid i brought you know power pro v2 re-spooled everything i decided i was going to run no punch skirt the second day and because i didn't want to risk anything you know i didn't want to risk any of those break offs like i did the day before so and i and i also grabbed a couple couple different colors the first day I punched entirely sapphire blue sapphire blue on the punch rig and then black and blue with a sapphire blue trailer for the jig Some fish down there with the sapphire blue trailer for the jig and the second day you know it was gonna be bright Sun a little bit warmer so I grabbed some green pumpkin because I knew there's bluegill and stuff like that I could see them everywhere in the grass and I wanted to kind of mimic that bluegill on the second day so Whenever it's cold, I like to punch black and blue. Whenever it's warm, I like to punch green pumpkin. Now it's gonna be warmer, grab that green pumpkin. And still started with the black and blue on day two and transitioned into, knew I was gonna transition into green pumpkin. So we'll get on to day two. I don't have a ton of footage for you. I know it was super, super stressed out the whole day because you know, like I know that I'm up there. I know that I'm leading rookie. Of the, I know I'm leading rookie of the year. I know I'm leading angler of the year. I know I've got, you know, I've got a shot to actually win the entire tournament if I can get all these fish in the boat. So, you know, camera being second priority to all of that. I do have a little bit of footage, so I'll let y'all see that now. One of these GoPros start recording something. Oh, dude. What's happening here? Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. I got one. I got one thing squared away. Whew. Dude. Dude. Look at that fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right, fish. I got I to gotta set you down on the net for a second. <laughs> oh. Dude. 
this is gonna be chaotic. No, oh, I need that. This is going to be chaotic. Oh man, this is a god, this is a good one. Oh. <sighs> Tank, dude. Twenty incher. Twenty incher. Tank. Jeez. I see everything. Up against the board. Just 20 inches. Goodness gracious. We're going to take another one. Oh. I'll take another one. Just to be sure. Oh. And. I think all my GoPros died. Yep, all the GoPros are dead. <laughs> is, this one, is this one working? All right. Check that sucker out. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> kind of holding them with the yeah with that GoPro, but oh, twenty incher. Oh, thank goodness. GoPro start recording. Still on there. Still on there. Stay on there. Please stay on there. How big it is yet. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I just know as soon as that thing went through the mat, as soon as that thing went through the mat, boom! <laughs> oh. As soon as that punch tree, I don't think it sank a foot, and it just thong. <laughs> got one more. I got I got four now. We got one more to go. <sighs> got three hours. Three hours to get one more. We got this. We got this. face eighteen three quarter
that's the these fish are on the bottom. GoPro start recording. GoPro start recording. GoPro start. There we go. Good enough. Y'all have no idea. I have no idea. That fish barely, barely hooked. If I had tried to pull him out, he'd have come off right there. <laughs> oh, if I'd tried to net him or something like that, he'd have come right off. God. These fish, they're sitting right underneath this mat. It's, I'm just I'm letting it go through about a foot and then just yo-yoing it a little bit. I'm not even letting it go to the bottom. What did I say? If I get a 16 incher, I'll be in the second or third. <laughs> Take that one. If I get a 16 incher, I'll be in the second or third. Guess what? Guess what? How about a seventeen and a half incher? Put me in second. I still got a whole bunch more map to fish. That 17 and a half, my friend. <sighs> 17 and a half. 17 and a half from the board to the lake. <laughs> I should not have caught that fish. Yo, come here. I should not have caught that fish. There was, a, there was the tiniest piece of skin holding that on there. Should never have caught that fish. whole shebang. Alright, alright. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna win this. we're gonna win this thing. We got we got two and a half hours. I got two and a half hours. Let's see if we can get one more fish. I need a I need a big one now. I need a grown one. Alright. It turned off the leaderboards. I got an hour and a half left. I'm down by one inch. Last I checked, I was down by one inch for leading the entire weekend. Caught a 17 and a half. The dude was sitting right next to me again. 
try to try to keep it quiet add, add it on to it I'm like I'm up to I'm over 90 I'm over 90 inches for the for the day I just need one more if I can get one if I can get one 18 incher provided nobody else caught any, anything else I got the whole weekend if I can get a 20 I just do it regardless of what anybody else catches so I'm looking for a 20 I caught a 20 out of here this morning I've caught some 19 and a half so I caught some 19 three quarters in practice called 19 and a half stuff like that in practice so I keep poking around dropping this thing in every little hole every little grass mat I can find until one thumps it all right y'all it's coming down to the wire <laughs> oh stress 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 it's been stress all day stress to get five stress to catch a fish stress to get five stress for angler of the year stress for rookie of the year stress for the tournament overall Keep punching. I'm gonna put it in front of one eventually. Go for a start recording. Y'all thought there's no way. There's no way. Oh. It wasn't going anywhere. It's going nowhere. Dude! <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh! I'm taking a picture of that. Oh. <sighs> Dude, that's a tank! That's a freaking tank! I will tackle you if you try and jump, brother. I will tackle you. It's a 21 incher. Oh. Dude, it's a 21 incher. Oh. That's the biggest one I've caught all week. On championships Friday. Oh! <laughs>
That's like a six pounder. <laughs> That may have just won the whole tournament. That may have just won the whole tournament. I have no idea. No idea how stressed I have been today. With these fish and losing these fish. I'm waiting for this thing to upload. Dude, how stressed I've been with losing these fish and dealing with these fish the past couple days. The first yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I lost 12. I lost 12 fish. Broke some off. Some came unhooked. Today I've lost two. And I've had an epic, epic day out here. All right, y'all. That's it. Didn't, didn't get any other ones. Well, I caught, I caught a short one after that 21. But I think, I think that gives me like 93, 93 inches. Around 192. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it gives me for the overall. Or 182. 182 for the overall, I think. So all the leaderboards and everything have been turned off. Now we we're up there for rookie of the year angler of the year and the overall tournament <laughs> the sands have been turned off so we got to go down to uh got to go down to ditto, ditto landing for the award ceremony figure out everything that's going on and uh this punching game is fun it, it is very very stressful and it's very fun i just wish i was getting like three more bites like three more fish i think i caught eight today so makes makes for a very stressful day when you get eight i lost I lost two or three like two or three bites that i had that came that i hooked up and came off so overall like 10 11 bites a day makes it very 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 stressful because you got to get the good you got to get have some good fish in there but luckily we got a hold of them today changed up some stuff from yesterday the braid i was using yesterday i broke off broke off a lot so I switched braid today, took off the punch skirt, and didn't swing on them as hard. Just kind of leaned into the punch fish, and a lot better, a lot better hookup ratio today. So I got about a 30 minute paddle against this wind. It's probably blowing y'all's eardrums out, so it won't keep you too long, but 30 minute paddle to get back to the boat ramp, and then we'll drive down and see where everything shook out. So, all right, y'all, thanks for watching. Well, I didn't have a ton of footage for you for day two. However, I did end up catching a 21, a 20, 18 and three quarter, and two 17 and a halfs, as well as a 16, 16 and a half, 16 and a quarter, and a, and a 15 incher. So culling out those, culling out the 16 and the 15 gave me 94, 95 inches, somewhere around there, I wanna say it was 90, 95 inches for the day 95 25 something like that for the day and <laughs> over the two day total that gave me i want to say three quarters of an inch over second place and that let me win the entire tournament i won the 10 invitational angler of the year and rookie of the year <laughs> it was it was an amazing tournament i, I punched the whole time I, I figured that would be you know the most weatherproof the most weatherproof pattern considering that, that we had a cold front come in on Tuesday and other and you know got it was staying staying fairly cold at night it was warming up in the days but the, but the night temperatures were still pretty cool so I knew some of those fish would push shallow but they'd be doing that ping pong of shallow deep shallow deep shallow in the morning shallow in the afternoon and deep at night and I didn't want to have to sit there and chase fish back and forth so punching grass mats those fish are always in there they might move up in the grass and down in the grass but other than that they're they're there the entire time you know two at two ounce punch rig green pumpkin sweet beaver the second day sapphire blue the first day it, it was it was an epic time you know 
super stressed whenever I came down Tuesday afternoon after only getting five bites. And then Wednesday, I felt a lot more confident. And then Thursday, Friday, just a ball of stress until the end of it. But I mean, overall, it, it was an it was an epic time. I mean, got got to thank everybody. Thank Chad for running for running KBF. I mean, he is far and away the most passionate person about tournament bass fishing out there that you will ever meet. <laughs> I mean, he, he eats, sleeps, lives, and breathes. He wants all the anglers to be, to be successful. He wants everyone to catch fish. He wants everyone just to to kill it out there. And and it shows every single time that you talk to him. He's just got like grandiose plans for it he wants to bring it all to life and it's, it's awesome it's you know you don't you don't want to see a guy out there just kind of in it for the money in it for the you know just just to run a tournament organization you want you want him to actually live and breathe it and then that, that's what he that's what he does with kbf so that was amazing and the uh the, the sponsors that ran it i mean rogue Ro gear code decode lithium those guys were out there if if you know the backstory though those guys have have put their you know put their companies on the line to keep kbf running so there's a lot there's a lot more to it than that but they they put their companies on the line to keep kbf up and running that's that's <laughs> it's a, there's there's so so much that they've done to, to keep that keep keep everything running smoothly for all of us that, that they really don't have to go out and do that they've just gone out and done just for the for the love of the sport and of course got to thank old town out here in the big water it has carried me through the entire season. This will be you know, two and a half years. June will be year three in the big water. And I absolutely love it. I was the only person in the top 10 that was actually still pedaling. <laughs> so I say I, I, can keep, I can keep up with everybody using the torpedoes, everybody using the, uh, the autopilot, stuff like that. Keep up with them just as well in my pedal drive. And really, really, really looking forward to what next season brings. The schedules are all out. I think Hobie's is not out, but Bass and KBF are out actually, as well as a couple of local trails. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be an insane season next year. Starting off with Lake Murray in the spring. You know, Lake, Lake Murray uh, kicked my teeth in a little bit this year. It was the first KBF tournament that I ever fished. And I thought it was on fish, thought I was gonna do well, thought it was awesome and ended up like 24th the first day and 21st the second day. Kate Casey Reed ended up winning it. Like, you know, just kind of humbles you a little bit. You think you know what you're doing. You go out there and all of a sudden uh, <laughs> you get shown that, you know, what, what, you, th what you thought you knew is, uh, what you thought you knew is not quite it. So it caused, caused me to step, step my game up quite a bit going, going from that, you know, put, put a little bit more, more into practice and stuff. And I'm just looking for those better quality fish throughout the year, and it paid off. I mean, <laughs> coming in fourth, fourth in the uh, Potomac, winning Chickamauga, and then winning the championship. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to compete with that next year, but uh, I'm gonna try. Can't win Rookie of the Year, but I can definitely win. I can definitely shoot for Angler of the Year championship and uh, the 10 champion. It's gonna be tough. And then also we have the national championship coming up in April on Lake Gunnersville again. So we'll get to go back and uh, see how we do with the national championship. It'd be an entirely opposite time of year, springtime. Almost pushed up on beds if I had to guess. But really, really looking forward to that. I think that's going to be a fun time. I've been out here. I've been out here all day just you know, throwing throwing jerk baits and stuff, getting getting ready for the winter time season. You know, it's not entirely jerkbait season out here yet. The water's still in the, like, water's 73 right here. <laughs> so, but, gotta get used to it. Practice, practice never stops. So, you know, get, getting used to that, getting used to rattle traps, things like that. So, practice never stops. That's gonna get get me started on the, uh, that Murray. We throw in jerkbaits and things like that is what I'm feeling. Maybe a little bit of shallow water cranking with your, with your red crankbaits and stuff, but we'll see on that one. But overall, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching and supporting this channel the whole time. Guys that have been here from the start, guys that are brand new, gals, everybody. Thank you for all the support and everything the, the whole season. I'm gonna keep putting these videos out, 
keep fishing through the winter time and hopefully y'all keep enjoying them so i'll end this one in the championship video here but thank y'all if y'all haven't subscribed that subscribe button like comment share all of the things and i'll see y'all next time